hello guys welcome to the opl assignment video series so today we are going to discuss about the next assignment in group a that is student database so this is the problem statement given in your syllabus that is develop an object oriented program in c to create a database of student information system containing the following information so name roll number class division date of birth blood group contact address telephone number driving license number etc so construct the database with suitable member functions for initializing and destroying the data via constructor default constructor copy constructor destructor static member functions friend class this pointer inline code and dynamic memory allocation operators you and delete so first of all we'll see the class diagram for this program so this is the class diagram that we want to follow here so as we have told that we have to implement uh, multiple concepts here in this assignment so we'll form two classes here first so student class we will define first so in student class we'll take the members name role number class division so i will use here character pointer for division then date of birth and for blood group i will use a character pointer here and finally we want their uh, we, we want to use static member variable so i will use count variable here which will count the number of objects or number of students here after that in student class uh, we have to use default constructor for, for initializing all these member variables then we will define a function member function that is get count which will return the count of number of students then we will define a get data function okay uh, which will have void return type so this uh, function is required here to get the data of student okay so but here i am passing the stud data class uh, pointer why i am passing this pointer here because i want to access the uh, data the members which are declared in this stud data okay so these members i can access these members and member functions i can access in the student data uh, student class why because my student class will be uh, will be the friend of this student data class so because of that i can access the student data members in this class by using the pointer its pointer then the same way we have to define a desk data function which displays the student data here okay student uh, information here again there i am going to pass the student data pointer which will access the members from student data class so again uh, there the second class that we want to define that is student data class we, we have we have to define here in this class i will use c address that is contact address uh, string variable then i will use a long end pointer for telephone number because as telephone number will be a long value integer value then for driving license number i will use dl number variable which is again a pointer okay that is long int type then i will declare my student class as a friend class of this class that is student data class so that my student class will access or will get the access of my student data class members so in that student data class i'll use i will define a default constructor to initialize all these values then stood data i will use here okay stood data uh, sorry get stood data i will uh, define the function to get the uh, values of or to get the data of these parameters or these variables then this stood data member function i will define to display all these members okay all these member variables so now we'll see the uh, we'll write the program for this uh, assignment now for this uh, class uh, class diagram or by using this class diagram so i will use code blocks id so here i will create a new project so i will create a new project and then in this i will choose console application then go next next i'll give the title here okay i'll change my path here so i will change my path to my directory cpp video okay then open so in this path i'll give the project title here so i'll give the project title that is my student database okay and then i'll click on next button and finish button okay the project has been created now in this project it creates a main.cpp file so in this file i will work now so see already the definition has been uh, done here okay main function is defined already here just we have to now edit this program so first we want to define a class that is class student so we'll define it 
and in this class we have to define first we have to declare first variable that is name then we have to define roll number okay then we have to define or the next uh, members that we will see that is class division date of birth so so again for class i'll use your cls variable then for uh, next that is there is division so i'll use your character pointer and division name okay then i need again blood group oh sorry i need then the next variable that is date of birth okay and then blood group so date of birth i will take in string okay so top variable i will use here then i'll use character pointer for uh, the blood group okay so that i will use here then after that i will use the next uh, variable that is count so that i will declare as a static variable okay static and count so this way we have declared uh, we have taken all our member variables here so why i'm using pointer because i want to you i want to do dynamic memory allocation here okay so that we can implement new and delete operators here okay so in, in the public section now we want to define we have to define a student constructor okay so constructor default constructor i will define here so in this default constructor we will write uh, we'll initialize all these variables so uh, i'll initialize name with empty value then roll number with zero value then i'll initialize cls class with empty string then division here i will do the dynamic memory allocation so division is equal to new char okay so as i want only one single character i'll just declare i'll just allocate a space for a single character with the help of new operator here okay so then date of birth i will initialize with the format that is dd slash mm slash four times y okay then after that i need blood group so blood group now blood group generally have uh, three to four uh, four uh, characters okay so i will write here new operator and then char and i will use four characters here i will also allocate the space for four characters here okay so this we have done here okay our all the uh, member account is not required to initialize here because it is static and by default it is initialized with the zero value so no need to initialize count variable here okay so this is about the default constructor uh, that we have uh, done here okay so this default constructor we have implemented now okay and then now after that we have to define uh, get count function okay the, that is a member a static member function so why do you use that uh, static member variable and static member function so just remember that uh, if you want to make our variable uh, in the class scope or if you want to make its uh, scope as a class scope and if you want to share its a uh, single copy with all the objects or if you want to share the single variable with all or the value of a single variable with the all objects that time you can use static member variable and for to access the static member uh, variable you can define static member function but while calling the static member function there is a rule that you can't use the object of your class because they both are uh, are coming under the class scope so we'll define a static member function here so static and get count and in this function i will return i'll define this function here itself because it not it is not having a long definition so return count okay so then i will define next my function that a uh, function i will define for getting the uh, student data here okay so i'll write here void get data okay and in bracket i as per our class definition we have to use stud data pointer here uh, so just i will uh, we will declare here it okay so uh this per data okay and stood data pointer here i will use okay so this is about your declaration or uh, this is about your student class now we'll define the second class okay that is stood data class okay so in this class we are having three member variable three member variables so first is string type c address for contact address then second is of having integer long integer so i'll give the i will use the pointer here so telephone number that's the telly number okay then long end again and then 
VL number that is for driving license number in this again I will uh, use public section inside this public section I will define a default constructor okay so in this default constructor I will initialize all these variables so C address is equal to empty string okay then tally number is equal to new long I can use just uh, long here okay then uh, DL number I have uh, now I want to pass uh, I want to allocate the memory for driving license number now so I'll use new long now okay so this way uh, we have done the initialization okay in our constructor now then we need a, a function here again member function so white get stood data okay get stood data so let me check uh, once uh, the okay so get stood data and this stood data that functions we want to uh, use here okay so that we have to define here so gets to data it does not require any parameter because it is accessing your current class members okay so uh, here i'll write c out okay so enter contact address so i'll write that here okay so semicolon and then in next line i'll use c in okay no we can't use c in here so we have to use here first of all we will get we'll use here get line okay so get line function you can use when you want to uh, get uh, take the uh, input of string with this space because when you use a scene and uh, you take the input of a string that time what uh, one problem will occur there that is uh, you can't uh, take the string without uh, with, with spaces okay with blank spaces but with the help of get line you can take the input of string with the spaces okay so we'll use get line and then in this i'll pass it, it, it has to pass two parameters that is scene and then scene object you have to pass and then you have to provide your variable name here okay string variable name but again one problem uh, might be one occur, uh, problem will occur that is when you uh, take another input and after that when you are going for contact address input that time might be it will discard the or it will uh, allocate uh, it will uh, give the uh, that white space or new line character as an input to the C address here to caught that to catch that uh, character here I'll call just get function here so it will catch that blank input here or that new line uh, character input here so that uh, we can accept the c address string here through the keyboard okay so that we have to do here now next i'll display uh, enter telephone number okay so uh, here i'll take okay but now see as we are using pointer here we have to use d reference operator so i'll use d reference operator and then pointer name okay then c out enter driving license number driving license number sorry driving license number okay so here we'll give this space here just one space so that our input and this statement will differ okay okay so that i will do here okay so semi, uh, semicolon and c in and i can d reference operator you have to use as you are using pointer here so dl number semicolon okay so this input we have taken here with the help of gets to data so after that i am going to define the next function that is this to data that i will define here and inside this function i will declare uh, i will uh, display all this data that is contact address so i'll just display it here and the variable name is c address here and then handle for new line c out telephone number telephone number then space and then tally number okay but here you have to use d reference operator to access it okay then handle then you have to use again you have to display your uh, driving license number so driving license number you will print it here and then again d reference operator you have to use and dl number this variable you have to use and then handle for new line character so we have done with the uh, our uh, with our okay so stood data class but one thing that we forgot to do here in stood data class that is we have to declare our student class as a friend of this class so i'll write here okay 
class a student class i'll declare student class as a friend of my this class and now remember when you declare your other class of uh, uh, when you are declaring a class as a friend of another class that time you have to declare that class before the starting of your friend class okay now the student class is the friend of my student data class but here but here compiler does not understand that who is the friend or how it is a friend so because of that student data has to be declared first here okay because then compiler can understand it that both both they are different there okay so student data you have to de uh, declare first okay and then this a compiler will understand that your student is the friend of uh, uh, student data and that time you can access that student data into uh, student there okay so here we have done with the student data and uh, student class so student in student class we have declared these two functions that is get data and display data now we'll define this function outside the class okay so by using inline function because we have to implement inline function concept here also so i'll write here inline keyword so how can we define inline function what is inline function inline function are the functions which is uh, written with the inline keyword and when you use inline keyword that time your function definition will be copied in uh, in place of the call of your function this directly that time the control transfer will be or this uh, time will be saved for transferring the control uh, towards that function so we will use here inline function so inline void and the class name is my student so the scope resolution operator and then get data and in that you have to pass student data pointer so i will use here st pointer okay and then in the definition i'll write okay so i'll access okay see out statement i will first display so enter student name this i will display and then after this i will take the input so i'll take the input with the help of get line now that we know that we have to use get line pass scene uh, object and then the string variable that is name then i'll display enter roll number okay so the next input that we want to tag here and i'll write here roll number oh sorry that's not okay sorry so scene and then roll number then see out enter class okay this i will display here and then semicolon then a class is a string now so now i'll first call the get to catch the blank input or blank space here a blank character or uh, empty character or new line character and then i will use get line i'll call the get line function in this i'll pass scene and then my variable that, that is cls then i'll display c out enter division okay so i'll display it here okay and then i'll simply take with the help of the, as i want to take only single character i can use c now and then at this at this time i will use my division variable no need to use def d reference operator uh, remember uh, with the, with your uh, arrays and your character variable you need not to uh, use the d reference operator because they are implicitly implicit pointers there okay so then i will use the next uh, statement i will display the next statement that is enter the date of birth okay so date of birth so this i will enter there and here i'll as this is a string input again so i have to call first gate okay to catch the blank input here okay and then with the help of gate line i can take the input as seen uh, object and then the dob variable string variable okay that's it then again i'll display enter enter blood group okay i want blood group now so i'll take this blood group with the help of scene directly so scene and then blood group i can tag it here okay so that we have done and here i will increment the count variable because whenever we create object uh, we take the input of object that time the count value will be incremented here that we can take as a student number okay finally 
so this we have done but now we have to access the stood data class member also so we have done what in stood data class we have defined the get stood data function for getting its member input so i can call that member function in my student class because now my class is a friend of that class okay my student class is a friend of uh, student data class so i can call get student data and this student data in my student class now so i'll call here with the help of that st okay st pointer that uh, we have declared there uh, in the parameter okay in the local uh, parameter there so st and then get student data i'll call it here okay so this will take the input of uh, uh, student data class here okay so we are done with the uh, our get to data uh, get data function and we can take the input of all the parameters here now we'll go for the next function that is for disp display data so again i will declare it as the inline function inline void then student is my class okay and then disp data is my function there i have to pass stud data pointer and i'll take here pointer variable that is st1 and then in, inside this i have to display all these uh, variables its values here so see out i'll write here student name okay student name and then name variable i will use here and l then see out roll number roll number i'll display here and roll number i'll access here and l for new character see out then a class that we want to uh, uh, yeah, uh, display here cls variable i will use here and then end l okay see out then division i will use here okay and i will display division here okay then end l then see out and then after division i need date of birth okay so date of birth i'll display here so dop i'll access here and l see out then i need blood group so blood group and then blood group i'll access here and then and l okay so after this i have to call the stood data member function that is uh, disp to data so i will use the st1 pointer here that I have already uh, declared here so uh, disp to data i will call here okay so that we can get all those variables here okay all those variable values here now see that we have done here now the class definition part has been finished we have defined both classes we can see that both classes we have defined here okay student data and student class we have already defined here now we'll go for the next thing that is important thing that we want to do here that is about our main function so but remember that we have used here static member variable and we have defined a static member function but the compiler doesn't understand here that definition or that declaration here to understand it before the main function definition you have to again define your static member okay so that is under the class scope every uh, usually your static member variables are fall uh, they are they fall under the uh, they are coming under the class scope so here you have to tell your compiler that they are under the class scope so how to write that how to define that so you have to write your uh, uh, return type integer and then you have to write the class which belongs to uh, from which they are belonging so that is student class and then here yeah, count variable okay so this line you have to this statement you have to write before the main function otherwise your count will not be recognized or will not be considered here as a static okay so that you have to define here okay now in main function the important task that we want to do that is first of all we have to create the objects here but now see we don't know the number of objects that we are going to create here so best way uh, we can do one thing that is we can use array of pointers to the objects and with the help of that we will create n number of objects here okay so first of all i will do what i will create the 
array of pointers of my student class i'll use std per student one of 100 i'll just give the maximum size here to that pointer array and then std data a string std 2 of 100 okay so this no, don't consider this std 1 and std 2 as a two student not it's not a stu, student 1 and student 2 it's just an object that i'm using here and uh, it's just a, a pointer here okay array of pointer uh, the name uh, for that array of pointer i'm using here okay so that will use to uh, create a number of objects there after this i want to i have to de uh, use one uh, declare one variable and initialize with the zero value because with the help of this i will uh, i'm going to uh, do the iterations here because i'm going to use do while loop and in that i want uh, one value there for in, uh, for incrementation okay for iteration there that is i will use n variable here after that i i need one uh, variable a character variable for uh, getting the choice from the user whether he wants to continue with the object creation or not or next input or not so i will uh, declare one variable that is ch variable here okay so after this uh, i will use do while loop okay so i'll define a do while loop so in while loop i'll write the condition ch is equal to equal to y okay or ch is equal to equal to capital y okay when you press either you press uh, small y or capital y that time it will continue otherwise it will discontinue it will terminate the loop yeah so inside this do while loop first task that i want to create uh, i want to do here that is i want to uh, 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 we have to create the object here so i'll create the object of uh, uh, these uh, two classes here because that is required here so i'll use stood one of n okay so i'll use this okay n as an index i will use here is equal to new operator i will use to allocate the memory space here to allocate the memory for object and which type of object you want that is student type okay that i will write here okay then after this i have to create the next object that is i'll create std2 of n okay with the help of this point array of pointer i'll create the next object at runtime that is to data I'll write which type of object you want about that is to data type okay so that we are done here that is with the help of new we are creating the objects dynamically here we want n number of objects but to point that n number of objects we are using here n number of pointers okay these pointers will point to that <coughs> n number of objects now here so after that i have to call the get data uh, member function of the student class that i can call with the help of this stud1 of n okay this uh, pointer i will use and then get stud date uh, that is get data i will call here and here i have to point uh, pass the pointer again of stud data so i am having the pointer here that is stud2 of n okay so this i will pass there so that uh, the stud data uh, uh, members will be access here okay this is this is this is the operator that is this operator is called as member access operator that we have to use because we are using here pointers but after this i have to increment n count okay so i'll increment n count here and then i will do what i will display c out do you want another okay do you want to insert add another i'll display this okay do you want to add another student here so i'll display it and in bracket i'll display s or no okay so this i'll use and then i'll take the input c in and ch okay ch choice input i will take it take here okay so this we are done with the help of uh, dynamic creation of object or, or dynamic uh, memory allocation of the object here we have created the object student for student class and for student data we have created object then with the help of this pointer stood one pointer we have uh, we have called the um, function that is get data of student class and we have passed the pointer against student data in order to access the student data members in in that function there now we'll display the 
we'll display now okay what will display we will display the data now so we can display so after inserting after inserting all the uh, data uh, after that finally we'll display all this uh, data which is uh, entered by the student uh, which is entered by the uh, person from keyboard so i'll use again for loop here because i will have the n number of objects here so i'll to access that n number of objects i will use again for loop here so i less than n so i plus plus because finally i will get the n there and inside this i will do one thing i'll display one line here i'll display this one line okay and then enter okay then i will call the function that is disp data okay but i can i have to call it with the help of stud one pointer student pointer every pointer will be accessed with this i index now and pointer to member access, member access operator i will use and disp data i will call now in disp data again i have to call pass this to data pointer now okay so stud data pointer i have to pass so i am having stud two pointer now okay so that i will pass here and again i will provide the i index to uh, identify or to or get the uh, that uh, specified pointer or which is present the pointer which is present, present that uh, index there okay so then the task we are done here okay so after this we'll go for next thing that is we want to uh, delete these objects that we have uh, at runtime that we have created the objects here and number of objects that objects we have to delete here okay from the memory so again i'll define uh, uh, for loop here i'll use i less than n i plus plus okay and in this uh, for loop i will use delete operator so delete stood one of i i'll do okay then delete stood to stood two of i okay every pointer we have to delete here separately okay so this we have to do here okay so we have done with the everything now one thing we want to do, do that is after ch okay uh, after this ch we have to call here scene dot get because after this again the next uh, input we are going to take that is student name so if you if you don't use get here again the same problem will occur that is it will discard uh, the student name input there because it is having the get line uh, function there okay so to uh, to catch again the blank input there okay because we are going to press enter key and enter key is uh, is nothing but a character there that is slash and character so that will be caught by or that will be catch by this get function here so that uh, we can take the input of student name uh, easily there okay efficiently there okay easy so one thing uh, finally we we have to again do one thing that is we uh, we have defined destructor also here okay we want destructor here because we we have used uh, so many uh, we have done the so many uh, uh, memory allocations here dynamically that is like telephone number dl number these uh, memory we have allocated uh, dynamically here so to delete that again we need here uh, the destructor here how can you define destructor so tilt sign and then uh, class name and then brackets so in this destructor i will use okay so i will use delete operator and then i'll give the name of my pointer that is tele number then delete dl number this pointer okay so this destructor we have defined here then after that again one destructor we need here that is in our student class so i'll write here till sign and then student bracket and then inside this student destructor i will delete my first division pointer okay i unallocate this space and i'll delete my uh the blood group okay so as it is a block of memory so i'll use a square bracket here and then blood group semicolon okay so we have done with the all the things that is we have implemented all the concepts except copy constructor here because we cannot use copy constructor here as 
we are dealing with the two uh, different classes and that two different uh, two both classes are having different members there so it, it they are not matching with the each other so that time we cannot use the copy constructor there because copy constructor is used for copying the uh, one object into object values into another object here okay so uh, excluding copy constructor we have implemented all other functions like inline function we have used static member function we have used then static member variable that we have used then friend class we have used everything we have done here okay new and delete operator we have used so that we have done so now we will compile and run this program okay so i'll do that here okay so compile successfully there is no error in this program now so i will run it now okay click on run button now you can see it is asking for student names i will write my name santosh nagar koji and it is asking for role number it is asking for class okay so i see computer it is asking for division p it is asking for date of birth i'll use 0 to 0 to uh, 2000 okay it is, it is asking for blood groups i'll write b plus here it is asking for uh, contact address so i'll write uh, uh, address here that is shivaji nagar shivaji nagar pune maharashtra then india okay after this it is asking for a telephone number so i'll write a random number here okay and it is asking for license number so i'll use something random number here okay now it is asking for do you want to add another student so i'll uh, enter s so it is asking for again student name so i will write here again the another student name here that is uh, some random name i will display here roll number suppose 23 then t computer class name division a data about 0 to 0 3 and 2003 and then blood group suppose o positive and contact address suppose uh, nashik maharashtra india A telephone number i will enter something okay driving license something okay so it is for again asking for do you want to add another so i'll uh, now enter m and i'll display it so now you can see i have added two uh, uh, uh i have created two objects so their data has been displayed here you can see it but one thing that we forgot here that is we have not displayed the count here okay so that we have to do now okay see we'll do one we'll go to main function okay so we have not called our uh, static member function here so we'll do first that here so i will write here c out okay uh, i'll write here one thing i will do here that is i'll display one line here first of all okay that we'll do first okay then handle and here i'll write c out total students okay total students and then i'll call so how how can we call the static member function so we can call it with the help of class name only so write class name and then get count function here okay so this we can do now here okay so that we have done here and then we'll display again one line here that is the same line i will display here okay so now again i will compile it and i will run it so i'll write here roll number one two three class ac computer then division b data of birth zero two uh zero one two thousand three and blood group b positive k address uh, Shivaji Nagar, Shivaji Nagar, Pune, Maharashtra, 
the this is the advantage of a get line here that I can take the uh, I can take the spaces also here that is Pune Maharashtra India telephone number I will enter here license number I will enter here then it will ask for uh, permission as or no I will enter again second input here suppose Shivaji Patin okay Room, roll number suppose 34 and class suppose t comp t computer and division suppose a and date of birth suppose 09092002 okay blood group i will write here o positive and contact number i will enter here then telephone number sorry contact address by mistake i entered okay so just consider it there okay so contact address that we can input there as a string there okay telephone number i have entered the driving license i will enter here and then it is asking for do you want to add another student so i'll now press n button here so now you can see the two objects displayed here both objects i have created dynamically and both things okay displayed here okay you can this you can see the information of second student that is has been again displayed here okay and total students that is to the count again here displayed okay so just ha huh, just one thing that we forgot here uh, so use your endl uh, whenever you use okay whenever you call okay here just you will use and l okay so that that line will get on new line okay so we are done with the program so this is about your assignment uh, that is student information system database so if you have any doubt regarding this assignment you can post it in the comment section and also don't forget to subscribe my channel and share my channel with your friends so that they will get the benefit of these videos so thank you for watching my video so bye bye